How to make a PVC pipe manifold for a Netafim drip irrigation system. Okay, so I have to, it just has to go that far yeah. into there where that line is. It's right, it's right in line with that basically. Okay. So up there to there is a foot. You're going to end up really being about 10 and a half inches is pretty good. Of PVC pipe, three sections, ten and a half inches each to make that a yard long with the four connectors. Right. To start the watering right there. Okay, the first thing to do is to measure my sections. Okay, stop right there. There is a better way to saw PVC pipe. You can use your body weight to clamp it down. It really makes a big difference. That was very fast. Okay, so I just need to sand the ends of the PVC pipe so that it will fit better when I glue it in there. Is that good enough, do you think? Yep. Thank you. Right, so we have primer and cement. And I'm supposed to put I sanded those, getting the excess little dust off, and I'm going to put primer on and glue on and stick it right in here and hold it for at least 30 seconds. counted a bit past 30 seconds. So now I have to start thinking about aligning. I am holding things firmly together for a full 30 seconds every time I glue two pieces together. The jar might recommend longer, but 30 has always worked for us. part that attaches to the plastic and that's the part that attaches to the hose. And this will attach to the netafin. Okay, now to start measuring my netafin.
Okay, I've got that all ready, and I've got my first length of Netafim attached there, and I'm going to try to lay it. minimal leakage there and it's just dripping there and since the whole thing is dripping I don't have a problem with that As you can see oh I'm having a head rush I need some lemonade I turned it on just a half a turn at my faucet which is just going to vary depending on your water pressure and within like 10 seconds it was hitting the other end of all of these and you can see they're dripping at a regular rate there you see I've got these are just landscape fabric pins I have in there this dahlia here was one of the tubers I saved that I purchased last year from Swan Island dahlias right here is one that I grew from seed I didn't know which were which I didn't have them labeled I, so first time I've been able to water this whole bed just with attaching one hose and it should be a lot easier to repair than other ways that I've tried with soaker hoses or the drip irrigation where you have to attach all these little pieces. Whew. 